I'm going to overshare with you how to become a radiographer in Australia. So there are two pathways you can take. The first one would be to study in Australia. There are, I think, nine universities here that offer bachelor degree or master degree of medical imaging. If you are a year 12 student hoping to enroll in the bachelor of medical imaging, there are two things you need to keep in mind. The first one is you need to check the university subject prerequisites. For memory, you will need to do one of the two math subjects either math method or specialist math and you also have to do one of the two science subjects i think it's either physics or biology so double check so you don't get disappointed and the other thing is that you need an ATA score of minimum 91 and if you get anything above 95 i think you are guaranteed that you will get an offer let's talk about the uni fee so for a domestic student it will cost roughly eight thousand dollars a year but if you are an international student like i was a four-year special degree will cost roughly two hundred thousand dollars so it is quite expensive but there are two advantages of studying in Australia the first one is as long as you pass all the units and you graduate you are guaranteed that you will be qualified as a radiographer now the second pathway would be for overseas qualified radiographer overall there are five steps you need to take in order to become a radiographer in Australia so those steps mostly apply to international students and overseas qualified radiographer but even if you are a domestic student or an Australian resident, I think there's still some helpful tips there. So step number one, you need a skill assessment from ASMERT. So ASMERT is an Australian Society of Medical Imaging and Radiation Therapy. It is also previously known as AIR, the Australian Institute of Radiography. They changed the name maybe six years ago. They're exactly the same organization, just with a new name. So ASMERT is the assessing authorities of radiographers for immigration. So they perform skill assessment on migrants to see if they meet the Australian standard. So basically you need to get the ASMERT skill assessment in order to apply for a working visa. So the assessment fee is $298. ASMERT will take into consideration of your degree, your skill set, your years of experience to see if you fulfill the requirement to become a radiographer in Australia. So if you pass, you will get a statement of accreditation saying that you have fulfilled the requirement to practice diagnostic radiography in Australia. So there is no pre-approved radiography course recognized by the ESMA except the New Zealand one. So as I mentioned before, in Australia, you need a minimum of a bachelor degree in order to become a radiographer. So if your overseas degree is something like a diploma or anything that's less than four years, it will be quite difficult for you to pass the statement of accreditation. But over the years, I have seen some overseas radiographers doing some of the university units to make up for what's missing in their degree. So maybe it is possible for you to combine Australian study with your overseas degree. So double check with ASMERT and see what you can do. Step two, you need to meet the registration requirements by APRA and MRPBA. So APRA is the Australian Health Petitioner Regulation Agencies. It looks after all of the healthcare workers. So nurses, doctors, radiographers, physiotherapists, all of us have to be registered with the board in order to practice legally in Australia. MRPBA, the Medical Radiation Practice Board of Australia, is an extension of APRA. So MRPBA is responsible for all of the healthcare workers who use medical radiation as part of their jobs. So say radiographers, uh, radiation therapists, nuclear medicine technologists. So for all the overseas qualified radiographers, there is a national exam you need to pass in order to register with the MRPBA. But if you study radiography in Australia, you don't need to sit for that exam. So even though I was an international student, I did not have to sit for the exam. There's a difference between the assessment from ASMERT and the assessment from MRL PBA. So the skill assessment from ASMERT is for immigration purpose. And they also take into consideration of your work experience when they're assessing your skills. Whereas on the other hand, MRL PBA, under the current national law, they can only take into account of your qualification. So even though you might get the skill assessment from ASMERT, it doesn't mean you definitely get the MRPBA registration. So in some cases, some people can get the skill assessment but cannot register with MRPBA. You need both in order to come to Australia to work, but just because you get one doesn't mean you get the other one. Step number three, you need to meet the English requirement, which is the proficient level. So proficient 
level means you need to get an overall of minimum 7 in IELTS. So there are a lot of other English tests that you can take and I'll put the um, score definition here. So you will need that score not just for the ASMAT skill assessment requirement but also for most of the working visa as a radiographer. And your IELTS exam result is valid for two years so it's never too early to start. Step number four, you need to find a suitable visa. Now visa is a huge topic. I have made a video about my visa timeline. You can go check it out. Just give you a rough idea how long it can take. But there are like 12 different options for overseas radiographers. So there are many different variables you can take into account. For example, um, is the hospital or company going to sponsor you? Do you have any family relative in Australia who can sponsor you? And it also depends where you want to go work and live. Because say if you want to go and work in Sydney, you might not get as many visa options and that's because the Australian government is trying to encourage migrants to go live in the regional areas so if you want to work and live in a big city you may not be eligible for some of the working visas so you better double check okay number five the final step will be all the other important things so you need to check your vaccination record so in order to work in Australia especially the healthcare system you need to be fully vaccinated I even had to find my Hong Kong baby vaccine vaccination booklet to prove that I'm fully vaccinated for hepatitis, BCG, polio and all the rest. And also before my first year placement, I need to have my blood test done to prove that I'm fully vaccinated. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. If you're not fully vaccinated, you might have to get that done before you start your job in Australia. And the second thing would be police check. So you need to pass a police check and sometimes even working with children check in order to work in a hospital or a clinic. So if you're an overseas um, radiographer or international student, you also have to provide a police check from the country that you have lived in in you know, the past 10 years or something. So hopefully you haven't done anything bad and you can pass your police check. And the other thing mostly for the international migrants would be a health check. So before you arrive in Australia, you will probably get an x-ray to check if you got any TB, you get a blood test to make sure you don't carry any infectious disease. So hopefully you will also pass the final blood test. 